Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church. Wanted to ask you a couple of questions. First question, have you ever read the Bible and then found yourself mentally drifting away? Like you started thinking about something else, your mind wandered and you're like, ah, refocus, refocus. Have you ever read the Bible and you found that after you read that section, you said to yourself, I don't have any idea what I just read. Like, what does any of that mean? I don't know. You ever read the Bible and then while you're reading it, falling asleep, <laughs> like literally you're reading in bed and then the Bible just kind of closes and you just fall asleep. Did you say yes to any of those questions? All those questions? I know, I know where you're coming from because I've been there myself. We all have, we all have. The Bible is a really big book. It's a really big book and it's no pictures, right? And it kind of comes across as a textbook or a school book. Uh, it's that book that we're supposed to read, that we're told to read, told to understand, and yet we don't find the time to read it. And then when we do find the time to read it, we're frustrated that we don't understand it or we don't have a way to interpret it for ourselves. And then we end up having to go back to church and listen to a pastor or listen to a teacher or listen to a podcast or listen to a sermon online to get that instruction. And I think there's some small amount of guilt and there's some small amount of frustration in us and in our life that we can't just open the Bible, read it for ourselves and figure out what it means, you know, find ways to have those quiet times and those devotionals for ourselves and on our time and to have those still quiet moments with God. I want to help you out. This Wednesday, I'm going to teach a class um, at the church in the sanctuary this Wednesday at 6 30. This Wednesday at 6.30, you can come and we're going to talk about how to read and study the Bible. And I'm not going to suggest that you get an entire library of, you know, Bible theology instruction books or dictionaries or Bible manuals or anything like that. Like, I have all that stuff. I have a library in, in my office, but, but you're not coming to my office to borrow my library, right? And I'm not going to ask you to do that either. I want to give you simple easy tools that you can use yourself that'll only involve you and your Bible. That's it. Just you, your own brain, and your Bible. Nothing else. I'm not going to suggest that you buy anything or download anything or anything like that. I want to give you simple, practical, hands-on tools so that you can read and study the Bible for yourself and it makes sense to you and then you can apply that to your life. Now, what are you going to do about kids? You got kids, they're like, I need child care. Don't worry, we got you covered there as well. We've got a full children's program from birth all the way through high school available to you at 6.30 as well. We'll have crafts for the little ones and we've got youth group for the grown kids. So bring your kids, bring yourself, 6.30 this week, Walden Community Church. Hey, we wanna be your local church. I'll see you Wednesday.